Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be watching as my Campanatus maculatus colony terraforms this new space. This is a one year, seven month old, 1000 plus worker strong colony. And these gals absolutely love to play in the dirt. Stay tuned for the transformation guys. So this is kind of a long video guys, but I wanted you to get the true experience of them digging. Most of this video has been time lapsed to shorten it as much as possible. So let's get on with it. This is an acrylic box that is eight inches by eight inches by eight inches, which I believe is 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters for all of the non-Americans. I covered the bottom of it in a white gravel as a drainage layer. I filled the box halfway with soil from the garden, then covered it with a thin layer of white sand and more gravel. About 30 minutes later, an activity starts to hum. You can see the first few pieces of dirt starting to come out of the entry hole. I put this hole in the dirt, it goes all the way down to the bottom gravel layer and then comes out the side into a tube that goes directly into their other nests. As you can see, these girls absolutely love this rock for some reason. It's weird, the activity gets heavier and heavier on it, but now I know why. Most of the ants are out just exploring at the moment. A few of them are working, pulling dirt out, but not very many. But that will soon change. Here's another angle for you guys. More dirt coming out of the entryway. More and more of the workers have gotten the message that it is time to dig. Sorry about the energy drink can there in the background. It's hard to come home after work and film and edit without some caffeine. If you are planning on keeping these girls, I have found a rocky, dry soil works best. They love it. I do have to keep it watered somewhat to keep the springtails alive though. This is the point of their setup having multiple of these acrylic boxes. Um, some are drier, some are wetter. They can put their brood in the wet areas or the dry areas, wherever they like. Also guys, don't forget about the giveaway. As soon as we hit 50 subs, we will be giving away an Aus Ants acrylic founding nest. Also, if you like the content, please be sure to like and comment on here really helps with the algorithm guys thanks I covered this whole thing in white gravel and sand so we could see the amount of dirt that they move but in hindsight we really didn't even need it it does make for good contrast though these girls really do get serious about their dirt I didn't notice until I edited the video, but if you will notice, they are pulling gravel out from underneath the red rock on the right side of your screen. They really do use all of the space available. Such a magical process to watch. They are almost completely ignoring the honey feeder in the back as well. Because for these girls, when it's time to work, it's time to work. This went on for a few hours. So I took a break and came back to this. They have started to excavate under the red rock. 
as well as under the white rock. These gals are just about my favorite colony. They're brightly colored, they grow fast, and they move fast. And they are awesome to watch. So if you would guys, please tell me your favorite species in the comments below. And maybe any of your colonies that you've kept and really liked and why. I'm always super interested to exchange information with other ant keepers. Back to the front side now. As you can see, they're starting to make little mounds. A lot of activity and excavating happening under the white rock at the moment. They are starting to pile dirt on top of the red rock as well. There was easily hundreds of them now digging their new nest. But I'll get quiet now and let you guys enjoy the process. Yes, this is the same shot from the same angle. They have officially claimed this space as part of their nest. They have also started to black out the walls and bury everything. They have also started to excavate the bottom white gravel layer because I can see it strewn about on the top. and it looks like they have completely buried the red rock. Some pieces of charcoal and some seeds laying there next to the nest entrance. So these girls have found all kinds of stuff down there. Let's look at it from the other side. A much more controlled madness now. That's a good sign that they feel safe in this area. I mean, I'd probably feel pretty safe too if I had an army of 300 to accompany me anywhere. I was playing around with my new lenses. Um, this shot looks really weird, but uh, I just wanted to show that they are pulling the bottom gravel layer up completely now. These girls absolutely love their soil rocky. Mainly because they use it to build. A lot of the hustle and bustle has died down now. But they are still excavating soil. Wow, check it out! Some of the seeds have started to sprout. And we can no longer see the entry hole from the original angle. And my liquid feeder is completely buried. Thanks, girls. 
That is going to be hard to get out. So what did you guys think of this video? Please let me know in the comments below. All likes, shares, and comments are very much appreciated, guys. Thank you so much. And thank you guys so much for watching.